Katie, it is such a pleasure to be with you today. I'm so happy to be here. I mean, this is a really tough job. It is, right? <laughs> So excited to be partnering with Cooper's Hawk to make my first rosé. What are you most excited about in making wine? Well, you know, I love rosé. I've spent a lot of the last 20 years in the Hamptons. It's a big rosé drinking community sure. in the summertime. So I feel like it's something that I'm passionate about, that I'm knowledgeable about. Today, you will be in charge and we'll help guide you there of what do you want the blend of these two components to be. I think you're gonna great. do great. Great, yeah, show me the ropes. For sure, awesome. <laughs> I tend to go for a rosé that's on the lighter side or light to medium. I like something that goes really well just by itself right. or with those lighter summer foods. Mm. That is so good. Yeah. Toast me on that yeah, one. for sure. Mm. Cheers. I love this. Yeah, you think that so might be delicious. the one? All that's missing is a straw hat, sunglasses, sundress, the barbecue going. Well Cheers. done. You're a, you're a pro now. <laughs> I got a wine. You officially did. I really love the way rosé is so versatile. It's an easy drinking wine, it's easy to pair, it's very approachable. I also like the versatility with celebrations and places. So as you mentioned, the Hamptons, you think of you know the south of France or mm. really any beach type environment, which yes. is generally my favorite. It goes incredibly well with. I'm really looking forward to making a wine that everybody wants to reach for this summer that goes with their barbecues or their grilled seafood, right. or if they're just having friends over for cocktail hour, this is gonna be the wine. Mm.